Hello guys, in today's episode of our MPESA series, we are going to be looking at C2B transactions. Now, this part is going to be split into two. Part one, we're going to have a look at register URL. Part two, we're going to have a look at simulate transactions. Now, before we proceed with that, there are a few items that I would like us to have a slight recap. So number one, before we proceed with episode, be sure to watch episode two so that you can be able to see how we're going to use NGROC to proxy our local host so that it can be accessible over the web. Now, the second thing that I would like to mention is that we need to change our current endpoint from something like this slash mpesa, this is slash token, or this is mpesa slash validation URL to something like mobile money mobile money slash maybe validation the reason for this is that if you submit either validation or confirmation url having a keyword mpesa you're going to get an error because mpesa does not exe does not accept the keyword mpesa to be part of the urls all right so now without do now we can proceed and now start implementing our register url so for that let's first of watching this so that we do not forget mobile money all right mobile money now so now this is now done we can now remove that now we need to start implementing the register url all right so 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 for the register url we expect the request the request to be something like this All right something like that and for the response we expect something like this if it is a successful response all right so we need to have a pod representation of this request and a pod representation of this response so i proceeded and created the request class and also the response class right this is just a simple pod so you can proceed and also create it on your end now from there we now need to start implementing that logic so step one on our daraja api interface we're going to do this register url we expect a response so let me say reg, uh, not get but just do something like register url so register url request we expect a request like that then on our implementation we now need to implement the newly added method okay so <clears throat> so the first thing that we are going to, to do is we definitely need to access uh to get an access token all right to get access token now from that we now need to do our register url request is the request actually what we actually can do is we can modify this let me show you we can modify this such that we have those params set from our configuration file in this case the application yaml so i'm going to come and uh, remove that but at the end of it all we will definitely need to have a register url request all right mm. so register url request okay so if you remember we said that our request needs to look something like this okay something like this so we can proceed and create um we can proceed and create this representation on our application file all right so i'm going to proceed and come and say something like this let's say short code short code we can use uh put your short code as as required we can come and say response type by default we can set it to be completed the response type to be completed then we can have our confirmation let's say confirmation confirmation url now in 
my case my confirmation url i'm going to come and just get this this is slash mobile money slash i can see confirmation all right then the validation validation url okay can i say give me something like that um, maybe mobile mobile money then validation all right so with that now we can proceed now to map the newly added properties on our mpesa configuration object so let's proceed and do that private string Oops, sorry short code okay the other thing that we need to add is the response type we're going to private string response type we also need confirmation url so with this confirmation url we need to set it to be something like this private string confirmation url but now we need to capitalize the u we also need private string validation url to be something like this right so all these the newly added uh, properties are going to be mapped to to this new uh, values that we've added so now in our implementation we can now come here and say something like uh, this we can now set we can set our let's say confirmation url to be something like this get the confirmation url register request dot set uh, response type we can do mpesa configuration get response type we can do register url request set our short code to mpesa configuration get the short code and uh, last but not least we need to do the register url dot set validation url to be the configuration dot validation url all right hope that uh, makes sense so far the next thing we need to do now we can create our request body okay we need to create our request body it is equal to request body dot create so this one we need uh, a media type so for that i'm going to add uh, a constant value in our constant uh, class so that we can be able to to reuse it eh? so i'm going to come to the constants i'm just going to come here and do private uh, static media type media type okay so media type so json media type okay so these child is equal to media type we can say first pass let's see application slash application slash json set okay with that Okay, so this is the value that we're going to use in our <coughs> as our media type. So create JSON media type is what we expect, All right? So look at that. Private, so for that, let's see we're not able to access it. So now we can proceed and create. So, just a 
Can I get them? So I'm going to add another method in our utility class which is going to accept uh, an object so that it can be able to convert that object to to convert that object to, to a JSON to a JSON string. So I just have a request. So I'm going to come to our helper utility. Alright, let me just come and say public static string set to json we expect an object to be passed there all right so here we're going to come and say return let's say new object mapper then title value as string in this case is so of course we need to catch an exception so if uh, there's a json processing exception we're going to return none, right? So with that, now we have uh, so we can now adjust assert that uh, it will always not be null. So now we have our body, then now we can proceed and create our request. So request uh, our request is equals to new request uh, dot dot builder then the url we're going to see the mpesa configuration dot you know get here well ah something else we also need to add uh our register url to our configuration right so we go to come here and say register register url endpoint and our register url endpoint uh, is supposed to be let's have a look and see which value is supposed to be our register url right, just a second i confirm the register url should be this let me just paste it here should be like that right so we also need to add this register url endpoint to our configuration file right so private string because as usual we need that endpoint good so now with that we can now come and say get register url endpoint right hope so up to there hope it makes sense then we of course need to do uh, a post we're going to post our body right so we also need to add uh, a header a header in this case so this we expect authorization right authorization then uh, we need uh, now to now put something like there then so then the access token so we need to be access token dot get access token all right then we can proceed and do a build all right but we are we what we can simplify this and see first of all we can just use a string dot format then let's proceed here and do a try Response. Expect a response. We can say, what did you call it? We called it uh, okay. Okay, HTTP client. Then we need to perform a new call to that request. Then we need to execute. Okay. So because here we need to catch the potential error that can occur. So return now logging purposes we can just come and say log dot error we can say could not could not register could not register url maybe then we print the exception that we just got in all right so just do that 
so with our response we can just assert that our response body is not uh, is not null okay then we can now use jackson as to convert the response that we're going to get so read value so we're going to have a response dot od dot string so we need to cast the string to a register url response right class okay awesome so so far so good we've done all the parts so now let's proceed now and add and consume now our register url from here so we expect something like this public response entity uh, a register uh, the register url response now in this case now we are now we are going to call what we've just implemented on uh, on the Daraja api interface on our controller all right so this is what we're going to do register uh, register url which will definitely also produce um, is going to produce application application json right so now we can assume now we've done all the steps that are going to be required so let us run and see how it's going to be okay started on port 8080 so let's see, register our url and see the response we're going to get ah our method not at all uh, we've just used uh, so on our register url where is it Awesome. So it has worked. So we now we have successfully created the register URL logic. And so as you can see, if you now invoke localhost mobile money register URL, it is being executed as expected. So guys, that will be it for this part. See you on the next one.